Hey guys, it's Goose. I, like 300,000 other people, tuned in for Ludwig's Mogul chess boxing event last night. It was a great event. Tons of creators came together to punch each other in the face. Love the battle of wits and brawn. But I hear a lot of people talking shit about the standing counts. You know, people need to remember that these are not professional boxers, but these uh, referees are. It's their job to keep the competitors safe. While uh, it's definitely a tough call to make, calling the fight is crucial to protect the safety of the boxers. That being said, Andrea is the people's champion, for sure. Um, I think everyone did an amazing job producing it and putting it on. You know, this being said, I'm ready for Mogul Chess Boxing 2. Put me in Ludwig. I will be in there, you know, whether I need to fight Stans or I'm on. You know, with that being the case, though, I need to start training. Considering it's about 3 a.m. and my housemates are asleep, you know, there's no one to punch. Instead, I'm going to punch some people in the face virtually over chess.com. I will be attempting to get a rating on chess.com, and uh, chess.com does this by having you play five games. Um, you know, so we'll see how they go. I've sped up the chess significantly just to make these rapid games more interesting it's for the viewers at home. Starting off, I'm opening with the English. There I gobble up the knight, then bring the queen for the tactic, winning the rook. I used to play d4 because it's less played than e4, but at this level, no one knows the English. Heck, I don't know the English. Push the pawn, and that's game one. I stand corrected, there's the English. This will become kind of a more locked up game. Lots of pawns coming out. Not a lot of minor piece development for my opponent. Go for a castle. Trying to see how we can attack this king who's in the center of the board. There's a check. And we're definitely winning on development. We've also pinned his knight nicely, so he really doesn't have many pieces that are developed. So we take the knight now. Knight with a check. Really reducing the squares he can run to. Now we're going to try to blast this open with our pawn structure. We want to get a rook into the game. King takes. His king is running right now. Push that pawn trying to bring in that rook. Queen comes down with a check. His pawn comes down. We throw in a check, a little intermezzo. Take the pawn, checkmate. We've got the English again. And we're building up that strong center. Knight comes to challenge, we take the pawn. Roll back, trade. Now we roll behind the bishop, threatening with an x-ray the pawn on g7. Push the pawn to move the bishop out of the way. I guess he sacks the minor piece, loves those pawns. We're rolling queen onto the long diagonal to see if we can hit b7. Protect from the check, castle. Looking to take on a7. Gotta prevent the checkmate though. Now we take. He boxes us in, but that's okay. Threaten the queen. We did lose a pawn there, but that's okay. Check. Win the rook. Now we're looking to trade some stuff off. You know, we're up the minor piece. Better to just convert. We're going to get our bishop out by pushing the pawn to d6. Okay, he should be free. Now we can actually take with a fork on the bishop. Our bishop is out. Now we're just going to keep pushing that pawn, see if we can advance it. Got to protect our own pieces, but making sure we're continuing our attack. Looking to trade off. Our opponent is under severe time pressure. We take the knight, we take the rook. Game three done. Little Sicilian action. Just following some normal opening principles, developing and uh, getting my pieces out. But in the words of Hans Niemann, chess speaks for itself. My opponent blunders a minor piece and the game ends quickly after that. Fifth and final game starts with the English. 
bit of weird box ensues with my opponent having a queen out very early. Trade of minor pieces, protecting the check, then castle. Threatening the queen, navigating rook to an open file, pushing the pawn. When in doubt, get loofed. Just trying to control the center, capture that queen. A little tactical there, but take with check. Now capture the knight. Trying to find a home for that knight. Check. Trade. And now we're just going to keep pushing this pawn. We're putting him in check, push again, check, and win the game. There you have it. We won our five games. I hope to keep this going and see how high we can get.